Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm showing you the pedal board I built for a special show I did in Coimbra Blues with a Fado guitar player, a Portuguese guitar player, and a blues band, so crossing the blues with the Fado. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show, and you know, if you want to become a patron yourself, just go to the link, super easy, you'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week, and a free backing track every month. And of course, my huge thank you. Also, if you're interested in guitar lessons or vocal lessons with me, just send me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook and we'll deal with it from there. Let's go! I have a pre-assembled board that I use for Braga Blues. This will definitely make it. This board is powered by fuel tank on on the uh, on beneath it, so it's easy to install. Uh, I'm not needing a tremolo because I will have a deluxe weaver as um, as a, a renting amp, so I won't be needing the tremolo. I'll be using the tremolo from the amp. So I'll definitely need a drive to kick in the amp. A tuner. Of course, I'll be using my trusty Polytone Mini. Polytune Mini. And it will be the first in chain. Reverb and tremolo are covered by the the amp, so I'll be needing probably a delay for the slapback stuff, and I'll be using this crate. I love this delay. This will be my last in chain, and probably that's it. Because then I have tremolo and re reverb covered. Uh, well, I'll, I'll use an octave pedal. I, I love octave fuzz. This is not a fuzz, so it's just the octave. Made by the great guys at DS Custom Audio Electronics. So I'll use this one. Because I can have like a, an octave. Strange. I, I, I love it. I usually love it. And that's it. Simple pedal board. <laughs> Really, really, really simple pedal board. But I think I don't need anything else. And it's easier if I have it like this because I won't be stepping on, on, accidentally stepping on other pedals. This has a drive, and I love this drive because it cleans really well. And this has a boost, a clean boost, so I can use the clean boost where, when I play slide or, or acoustic guitar. Now let's pop, pump in the jacks. I bought this. Um, Jacks from Ernie Ball, they're rugged. Use this lava cable too, but we need two more. That's it, very simple board. board assembled here it is I have my trusty polytune 2 small footprint and it allows me to tune like this and it's also helpful when I want to change guitars because for this show I took four different guitars because of the tunings 
And whenever I want to change guitars, I just mute it here and it's done. Then the next pedal is the Octonaut. I love Octafuzz, but I've, I've recently found out that I actually I love the octave, not the fuzz itself, because usually I roll off my volume. So this Octonaut by DS Custom Audio Electronics is incredible. And it only has the octave things and no knobs, so great pedal. <laughs> Great. I'm using the DM2 was a crafty lay as a slapback. I love this delay. Super simple, but I used it as a uh, slapback. And I I don't have any tremolo or reverb because the amp I used was a deluxe reverb, and it had tremolo. Here I'm using the tremolo verb, which also has tremolo and reverb. So this is the reverb. <laughs> and the tremolo. So it got me covered for the most of the gig. I either use a slap pack for a spaced or a reverb and then my trusty box of rock because it really has a, a natural overdrive if I want to And it really responds well to the guitar's volume, but also it has a just a boost that sometimes it's helpful just to have kind of a cleanish tone, but louder. And I can have both. I can have the distortion or the drive and then hit the um, cleanish boost to get louder. And it's a super, super simple board, but very effective because I can combine a lot of the effects and I can use the guitar volume. That's that's it. It was great. The show was great. I love the sound of this simple board. And <laughs> Give me something for me.
it is powered by the um, T-Rex fuel tank. It's not the greatest power uh, pedal power platform because, for example, on the Octonaut, it makes some hum. But it works, and it was the one I had laying around. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the show till the end. I hope you have liked it. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. And I'd love to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching. And you know, if you want to support what I'm doing here, you can become a patron and you'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week and a free backing track every month. And of course, my huge thank you. And if you're interested in guitar lessons or vocal lessons with me, just hit me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook and we'll deal with it from there. You can also contribute to the tip chart on PayPal if you want to help just once. And I thank you a lot because it really helps funding the channel and making it possible. Thank you so much. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye. I can help you.